The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Try our swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masia, Their anarchic delusions of virulent as the plague less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the temple. Take the sword in the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassins' hands. Grandmaster, I will.
Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, 
You can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing? What have we here? A thief? N no, sir. Sorry. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. 
I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Keep up. I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of their Elise. father, we should all be called Barbara. Come here, girl, now. Father? Fairly at cards, so you stoop the fever, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Ooh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I say. Sorry. <laughs> Blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Au voleur! Et de lui! Keeping up? Shall I call a break?
And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go Make around. way, make way! All over. What was that? Damn it, slow down!
Apparently, walnut is a popular finish this season. Who is driving this coach, Pelops? Arrêtez! Monsieur de la Serre! Excuse, wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. There you are. Back at the line. Back at the line. Hey, 
aussi soit didn't imagine. Une guerre dispendieuse. 
France, mais honorable, en a été la cause. Et a rendu plus sensible leur inégale répartition. Une attitude générale, un désir exagéré d'innovation, se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par... C'est par une réunion d'avis sages et modérés. C'est dans cette confiance, messieurs, que je vous ai rassemblés et je vois avec sensibilité qu'elle a déjà été justifiée par les dispositions que les deux premiers ordres ont montré à renoncer à leur privilège pécuniaire. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. Easy, big fella. Damn you! You can't take us both at once. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, stop! What are you doing there? Uh, running!
Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. How late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here then. I couldn't just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turn up. Quite.
Let's just put in a short appearance to be polite. I'm tired. As you say. Third estate practical. Up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the Delacere girl. Sure, his shoes cost more than my rent. <laughs> she does not. She does. Not. You up there! Her Stop! Her Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. I can't remember the last time we were all together. Like it must have been that business with, um... And I would thank you not to speak of that. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Father's suit. 
Are you wearing a dress? <laughs> Don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. Go! Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one, I end the night cleaning a rich man's coming off my shoes. You're all right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sylvain, come away. Guards, help! Murder! Lord de la Serre. Divisa in Bates Traves. They're killing us! 
Oh, God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Don't bother me, boy. Welcome to your new home. Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. My grandmother eats harder than that. She's Belgian. Pathetic. Stop wasting my time, Pisspot. Pathetic. What's the matter, my delicate flower? That I hurt your feelings? Pathetic. mine and go back to your crazy drawings old man drawings he's here everywhere scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell where, where? come here you little piss boy get your hands off me look at the wall what are you doing concentrate concentrate what are they Messages from the past. 
I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. Well, 76, 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Keep an ear open, opportunity might just come knocking soon. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners! Follow my lead. Prisoners up against the wall. I lose authority. I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! Prisoners up against the wall. Stay back! to be kidding.
You've got to be kidding. Got it! Let's go, piss pop! Out the window. Come on. There you are! Spot. It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! If you can pluck your head out of your own arse, come find us! You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, Pisspot! You! Back away from the ledge! Please? That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't. Is that? A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. 
I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. A no pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. What is this supposed to mean?
I suppose a simple address would be too mundane. What am I supposed to do with this medallion? Perhaps the sunbeam. If you can pluck your head from your own arse, come find us. You can pluck your head from your own arms.
Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? A sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. From these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. Well, it was quite the entrance. Are you... So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come. What changed your mind? I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Inna the Nubahu tukkilu kailai. Hal anta muta akidon min? Anna kathalik. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muhakama. Seikunu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink.
Father! Where is that boy? We should be well away.
These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, the sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to take up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Afterco last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play. Sit back and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. 
We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data will have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map.
What's the mission? Mission? Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. I guess it was nothing. Better get back.
Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Siver. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I... <laughs> Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Siver still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Oh, Patience. Siver is not the target. Not today. Come on. Council's waiting for the report. Smoke him out, piss pot! I'll fix you, Colonel! You're mine! You can't hide! There! I'm right here, sunshine. You won't get away. Too slow. Might as well I won't give up, you horse. Too slow. Time to wear your cape. fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Well, there's a cheery thought. Yeah. 
Allons, monsieur. Ne me faites pas de mal. Je n'y nuis à personne, je le jure. Arno, what cheer? What's all the fuss about? My friend. Hello. I can't believe this. We've not seen Sivet for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. And if we lose him again? He'll be at Notre Dame tomorrow, if he keeps to the schedule we found. You might have shared that earlier. Arno, what cheer? So what happens? Next. We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. He proceeds to do nothing with it. Three more Templars Hello. killed. Don't seem terribly fond of us. Templars have been killing each other like he was going out of fashion since he's a a great hey, case. Hey, civil war. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars, bring the revolution to a happy conclusion, and convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. The Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Malay burnt. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. 
We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready? Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets.